Have you been struggling to get your baby to fall asleep anywhere besides your arms? Do you wonder how parents get their baby to sleep in a crib or a bassinet? and look so peaceful. Today, I wanna share a method with you how to get your baby to fall asleep in the crib or the bassinet so that you are not constantly nap trapped or laying in a chair with them all hours of the night. Hi there, my name is Amy. I'm a pediatric sleep consultant and the founder of The Postpartum Party. And today I wanna share with you this simple method that can be such a game changer in helping your newborn fall asleep in the crib or the bassinet. What is this magical method, right? This is called the soothing ladder. The soothing ladder is a gentle series of steps that parents can take to help get their baby to sleep. So think about a ladder, how it has different steps on it, and the different steps in the soothing ladder each require a little more parental presence and involvement in order to help your baby get to sleep. The soothing ladder method is from the book, The Happy Sleeper. The whole concept behind the soothing ladder is to get really curious about your baby and their cries. So as new parents, it can feel really overwhelming when our babies cry and sometimes we rush in pretty quickly and go straight to feeding them or picking them up when they're in their crib or their bassinet. But the idea behind the soothing ladder is that sometimes parents may be able to take a step back and use a little bit less intervention than feeding or rocking in order to help their baby get to sleep. So all of these different rings on the soothing ladder require a little bit more parental intervention, but you may be able to stop at maybe the third or the fourth ring of the ladder instead of going all the way up to the top of the ladder, which would be feeding your baby. So it really allows you to learn your baby, get curious about them, and and become a little more attuned to their needs instead of just automatically becoming a human pacifier. Let's walk through the steps of the soothing ladder and how you can use them to help your baby sleep better. The first step or rung of the ladder is just your presence. So sometimes babies may be soothed just by having your presence there. Let's say that you put your baby down in the crib or the bassinet and you left the room and you hear them fussing or crying. You can just go back into the room and see if your presence standing near the crib or the bassinet helps calm them. Sometimes that's enough and it does the trick. If you tried using your presence and it was a no-go, that's okay. The next rung of the ladder is going to be your voice. So this can be a couple of different things. It can be just making a shh sound near your baby's ear or in the room. You can hum a song, you can sing a song, or you can say a like a key phrase to them such as, it's okay baby, mommy's here. The next step or rung of the ladder is going to be replacing your baby's pacifier. So if your baby uses a pacifier, go ahead and replace it. That may do the trick. But if your baby is still upset, go ahead and you can just hold the pacifier using your hand in their mouth for a couple of minutes to make sure that it doesn't fall out and really help settle them down. The next step or rung of the ladder is going to be providing your touch. So let's go ahead and give your baby some physical comfort since they're still having a hard time. This can be a couple of different things depending on what works best for your baby. So you can go ahead and put your hand firmly but gently on their chest. You can even give them a little bit of a rhythmic pat. Some babies like their head rubbed or their forehead rubbed a little bit. Try to keep your baby in their crib or their bassinet while you're providing this physical comfort and try to avoid picking your baby up just yet. This may do the trick and you may not need to move to the next steps of the ladder. The next step or rung of the ladder is going to be providing a gentle jiggle to your baby. So some bassinets will make this really easy where you can just kind of jiggle the bassinet. If your baby's in a crib, it might be a little bit trickier, but you can kind of like jiggle their body a little bit just to provide a little bit more movement and comfort for them. The next step or rung of the ladder is going to be picking up your baby. So by this point, you've tried a couple of different things. They haven't worked. So go ahead and pick your baby up and hold him or her until she is calmed down. 
Now, the goal is not necessarily to hold your baby to sleep, but just to get them to calm down and then you can go ahead and put them back in the crib or the bassinet once they're calmed. If they start crying again after they've, you've picked them up, they've calmed down, you've put them back down, and if they start crying again, you can go ahead and start at step one and work your way back up the ladder again. The final step or rung of the soothing ladder is going to be feed your baby. By this time, you've tried multiple different ways to soothe your baby and it's still not working, so go ahead and offer them a feed and see if that helps. Again, try not to let them fall asleep at the feeding, but go ahead, give them a feed, help them stay awake for it, and then go ahead and put them back down. And if they start crying again, you can start at step one of the soothing ladder. The goal here is just to be very curious about your baby and to not constantly rush in to feeding your baby as soon as you hear them crying. You wanna stay on each step of the soothing ladder for about 30 to 60 seconds to see if it is actually helping soothe your baby. So don't just try it for like five seconds and it's not working and then go ahead and move on to the next thing. Really give it some time to see if it helps settle your baby down. As your baby grows and you practice the soothing ladder more and more, you'll become more attuned to their needs and realize which steps really help Help them settle down so at that point you can kind of just skip ahead quicker you know if you know that the hand on the chest is what's soothing to them you can go through those other steps a little bit quicker knowing that the hand on the chest is what's going to help them ultimately calm and settle down. The soothing ladder is one of those techniques that you can do from the very beginning. If your baby is having a hard time falling asleep in their bassinet or the crib, go ahead and try the soothing ladder to even help your newborn baby get to sleep. This really isn't a sleep training method as it's not leaving your baby to cry for any amount of time. It's going through the various steps to see what they need to help them calm and settle down so you can start it from the very beginning. If you're having trouble with your newborn and want to know how to set them up to get the best sleep possible, then I do have a newborn sleep class for you. Go ahead and check it out in the description box below. It's for ages zero through three months old. And not only do I go through various steps of the soothing ladder, as well as some additional soothing methods that I personally like to recommend, but I also include newborn sleep schedules, how to create a conducive sleep environment, how to follow safe sleep practices, everything that you need to do to set your newborn up for the best sleep possible. Go ahead and check that out in the description box below and make sure to use the special code for YouTube users. Thanks so much, sweet dreams.